Other people can do the same thing, take the same steps that you did, and, and that will save some lives. You quit when you don't love it anymore. If you love it, you have to keep going. It's simple and it's, it's stuff that I feel like I already knew and just needed to hear it again. Hello from Canada. How are you doing? Good. How Thank can I help? You. What do you got? So I, Evan, I, I got to ask you, how much, how much did you spend on your business? How much time and finances before you started seeing some results? Do you love it? Um, it's, it's, I feel like it's a, it's a means to get, gra uh, gather some momentum in order to be able to go to the next step. So kind of creating a cash engine, if that makes sense. You have to be insanely talented for that to work. Um, and it, it most likely won't. Like the best thing to do is here's what you quit when you don't love it anymore. Mm hmm. If you love it, you have to keep going. If if you're saying this is the bridge, I hate doing this, but it's the bridge to get me here, mm. then then that bridge is unlikely to work because you don't love doing it, and you're going up against people who love doing it. Yeah, exactly. So let me let me uh, lay down a little bit of foundation here. So essentially, what I'm doing is uh, I do video advertising for businesses and mm. live broadcasting. Now, I'd rather beat my head against a brick wall than edit. I'm sure you understand that uh, that struggle too, um, but it comes down to realizing that that is a foundational uh, marketing platform that whatever business I start with, I have to understand those principles. So I figured the barrier to entry was a lot lower than starting other businesses. So that's a big reason why I went into it as well. And obviously, you knowing Grant Cardone yourself, he kind of just says like, you know, eat for a while. Uh, same thing with Gary V. Uh, just do do things that you hate sometimes, just to kind of get through. Do you do you agree with that standpoint? Not in the macro. Okay. So, what you're doing should be something that you enjoy doing because you can you can you can eat crap in anything. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Most people do. Most people hate their life. They hate their jobs. It's Monday. They hate it. That's most people. In the micro, yes. Like in the micro, every day I end up doing something that I don't want to do. I wish mm -hmm. didn't happen. That's part of being an entrepreneur. But not net. Like in the macro, the big picture, I love what I'm doing. Yeah. So do you want to be in the video business or was it you just did it because it was an easy place to get started? Um, I think where that got started was realizing that the big need for, for health and wellness sector uh, to have better marketing. So I saw a gap in an area where people had the ability to be healthier and then live happier, ha happier and healthier lives. And I said, people need to know about these, these positive solutions that helped me after a motor vehicle collision in 2015. So, and, and my family as well. So it's like more people need to know about these healing modalities. You know what I mean? So that, that was a big motivator for me as well. Does that make sense? What's the so this is the bridge to get to this next thing? What's the next thing that you want to be doing? I, I honestly I'd like to um, be helping uh, helping the northern territory called Pekanjikum um, because that's the suicide capital of the world and that's in our own backyard of Canada, right? So um, creating creating food, creating jobs and industry those are those are big things that propel me to kind of keep looking towards uh, what the future might hold and, and how to create those cash engines, right? Did, did you almost go through suicide? Yes. So this is it, man. Like helping other people who, who are on the verge of suicide will be the thing that will make you feel amazing for life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That and, was a uh, deep, deep and dark time. And there's, there's so many people going through that, right? And, um, once and what I, got you through? What got you through? Um, understanding that I had a, a purpose and a destiny, and who was I to rid rid an image of of the source or the universe? Uh, at that puzzle piece that the world needs, and and honestly, it was it was my friend that actually followed through with suicide that actually scared me straight. I saw that community just hurting and in pain. Uh, he wasn't trying to make an impact, but he definitely left a, a legacy behind. And, um, 
that, that wrecked me. I was like, I, I could never do this to my family. And, uh, yeah, a lot of things, the family support, um, realizing my, my own purpose and destiny, um, the spiritual health and wellness and, and starting to really invest in myself rather than always giving from an empty cup to other people. I realized I had to stop and invest in myself. So, so the, the path that you went through and now you come out on the other side, it doesn't mean everything is amazing and beautiful, but, but you're way better than you were yeah. X number of years ago, right? Yeah, for sure. That, be, that becomes a recipe that other people can follow. Absolutely. Like other people can do the same thing, take the same steps that you did, and, and that will save some lives. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> right? No, I mean, look, I mean, what do I do? I, I just help entrepreneurs. You're out there actually making content and helping people save lives. That's yeah. your mission, right? Yeah. That's what you want to be helping people with and not doing video editing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that's an area where I'm trying to to delegate that to employees and stuff. So, but it, it it's round two. Like you shouldn't even be doing it at all. If if your path is even as you're branding yourself, like this is the story that I would say of that. I want I'm passionate about helping people uh, not commit suicide because I almost did it myself, and I know how painful that is, and I know how many people are suffering, and I'm passionate about helping people find solutions to not commit suicide. When you're talking to a client, I know this is what you do. Yeah. I, I want to help get your message out. Mm -hmm. Like already you're way more in than somebody who just says, Hey, I'm a marketing company and yeah. I can help you promote your services. That's right. True. Yeah, absolutely. Your story connects. Now, assuming you're picking companies that actually have something to do with suicide prevention, right? Yeah. You're not yeah. picking some like coffee company or something, <laughs> right? It's yeah. like, Whatever, whatever you believe in. And then they're going to want to work with you because they love your story and they recognize that you potentially have a skill set that they're missing to help them grow their, their awareness. Connecting, um, connecting with the heart. Yeah. And, and the why and just making sure that the why is present and available there. Every single time. And, and then, if you're, then you start with live streaming. Yeah. And live streaming doesn't need editing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What's this? What are we doing right now? There's no editing. It's me and you talking live on Instagram. <laughs> and, and honestly, that's that's an area where I, I officially um, incorporated a live broadcasting company as well. So you're, uh, I think, I think we're on the on the same page there, Evan. I was like, yeah, I don't want to do editing anymore, <laughs> and I enjoy I enjoy doing live. I just I feel like I always give myself uh, a hurdle that I don't have anything to share or anything. And I, I know everybody says that, right? Um, that you don't have anything of value to, to share. And that's, that's a hard thing to, to overcome. You know what I mean? But have you ever talked about your suicide or your, your, you didn't actually suicide, but your, your, your thoughts or your attempts? No, that's uh it's pretty raw, man. You know, like to but my that, close, to my close friends and family for sure. But well, I believe close. nation now, but, yeah. but like <laughs> that, that's the only thing you should talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you talk about? You talk about that. Yeah. And then how long ago was this when you were in like the darkest moments? Uh, 2015, 2016. Okay. So, so a couple of years ago. So what you do is you imagine who you were back then and what would the 2019 version of you tell to the 2016 version? Yeah. Cause the 2019 version talking to the 2016 version, if you just said, Hey, you got to find your purpose, man. 2016 <laughs> doesn't want to hear that. That's right. Yeah. It's like, what are you talking? I have no purpose. Yeah. So, so that's where like, even someone like me would have a hard time connecting. Cause I've never, I've never been so low that I even thought about suicide. Never. And yeah. so, so I'm going to come off to 2016 you as too high energy, too positive, too optimistic, too like doesn't understand how the world really works. Right. But, but you, you've been through it. And so you need to talk to 2016 version. And, and be a voice that they would actually listen to. Hmm. Yeah. And then that's what you share. So maybe, maybe it's just a feeling like you're not alone. Maybe it's a daily live stream. You just saying, Hey, you're not alone. If, if you're suffering, you may feel like you're all on your own and you're by yourself and Absolutely. there's no answers. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. Definitely. And, and listen, I'm here every, every Thursday morning. If you yeah. ever want to chat about anything, come, come on and, and let's talk and, I'll just listen. I love that. I know. That's super right? easy. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, great. So that's one. And then two, you can talk, you can go tactical and tell me what to do. So you said finding your purpose or you said spiritual modalities. Were you, were you meditating? Were you praying? What did you do? Yeah, for sure. So I actually, like, I think I, I honestly, I hated Tony Robbins, uh, at the beginning because it's like oh man this guy's super annoying and then i think actually like his netflix special just actually like spoke to me you know what i mean and uh i'm just trying to trying to think back to what else was really really helping i think honestly just taking the time to shift my thinking into gratitude that was a big point too for me for sure um being thankful for my kids everything that i that i had not taking it for granted and that i actually did have I did have benefit. I did, I did have things to offer people, right? Uh, that I did have value. That was a big thing for sure. So that could be another one, right? Yeah. So the first one is just, here's my, here's a weekly live stream of just, you're not alone and I'm happy to come on and, and help anybody. Two is you're going to walk me through how to be more grateful. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Every Tuesday is gratitude Tuesday. And, but everybody says gratitude, but how did you do it? And so you walk me through, like, I want you to think about X, Y, Z, like your method, the way that helped you. Yeah. That could be another weekly, but something like gratitude. It's not just a one-off thing. Yeah. So you have a weekly show talking about gratitude and how people can find it and how you went through it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Right. You yeah. can do coaching. You could have, you could have scheduled people come on like, Hey, if you're, if you're considering suicide, I, I want to talk with you about it. Let, yeah. Let's spread a message or you can bring on the companies that you're working with. And then they have, uh, you do an interview with them about how their product saves lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, or you review, uh, like there's so much you can do, but it's all around this thing. You don't want to get on and do a marketing podcast or a marketing live show. Yeah. No, oh, definitely. And I, I can, I can even say even just like uh, changes in diet, even like having, getting your mind right starts with what you put in your mouth too, right? So that, that starts with health and wellness too, for me as well. And uh, I definitely noticed a difference. Look at all these ideas. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> 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 now you got a lot to talk about, but, yeah. but it's the willingness to share the story because a lot of people who, uh, who are suffering with, suicide or or have um they're ashamed yeah yeah you're ashamed like who wants to say that who wants to admit yeah. that exactly. and and then you here saying that you suffered with it mm -hmm. makes it a little bit more okay yeah for someone maybe somebody watching right now is feeling the same way and you coming out and saying that makes them feel a little less lonely like maybe mm -hmm. just that saved their life today yeah it's powerful but you did it. I mean, I'm just asking questions. You're the one sharing the story. Yeah. Right. So the willingness to share that that's going to be the thing that sets you apart. That's going to be the thing that, that gets people to um, want to follow you and be part of your journey. Um, listen to your answers and solutions, both from a community, like people watching, but also from customers that you're going to work with. Uh, they're going to feel connected to your story. I mean, yeah. marketing is about storytelling. Yeah. And you've got a great story to tell. So you've got to share it. Well, that's awesome. That's uh, it's it's simple and it's, it's stuff that I feel like I already knew and just needed to hear it again and, and <laughs> remind me that it has that it has a good that there's a good message and there's benefit to that for sure. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, good luck. We're cheering for you. Hey, man. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Yeah. Fist bump. There it is. <laughs> Take care, man. If you want to spend some one on one time with me, I have a special offer happening right now. Go check out the website right next to me. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.